Yeah, so we getting new console models. I haven't talked about fucking games in a long time. But there's a big problem. All right, since fucking 2020, when the PlayStation came out, you can't fucking get one. Man, I remember everybody was hyped. Everybody got a stimulus check. Everybody had their money ready, the $900. And they're like, I'm going to buy me a PS5 or a Xbox or whatever. What ended up happening? We have freaking scalpers, my boy. Scalpers were trying to make a quick buck. Then a quick buck became, oh, the console goes for 500 600 Nah, bro, you're getting it for a thousand dollars, and that's assuming you don't get ripped off with a fake China one. You know, you gotta do some sketchy stuff. You gotta go to offer up. Hope to God you don't get shot up, cause they know you're walking with a thousand bucks. So you gotta be careful. You know, there's videos of people. You know, it had a PS5 box. You open it up. It was a PS4. Stuff like that. Some sketchy ass thing. You know how it is. Now the big problem was that the pandemic. We had a nasty ass chip shortage, right? It was bad enough that the PlayStations that were available, man, they were, man, just finding one was impossible. And then you had people with bots online and they were buying them by the bulk. Essentially, it was impossible. So now, we're gonna be hating 2023. Damn, man, it's gonna be 2023. And finally, PlayStation's like, bro, we understand. <sighs> we're making a next gen console. And you're just like, well, not a next-gen console, but another model, A, B, C, now we're getting model D, whatever. You know, we've had the, the fat, bricky PlayStation 5 that you couldn't even put a cover on it because they'll sue your ass. And then we had the, the one with the drive, so yeah, it's two of them. And then later on, you're like, dude, it's impossible to find one, let alone, you know, you can go to the store, most people were buying PS... You know it's true, some of you guys bought PS5 controllers without the console just to know how the controller feels. You were so thirsty for it, and you couldn't get one. And then we had the slim models, and it's like, man, what else can you do? You know, Xbox had the slim version. Did they have a slimmer version for the PlayStation 5? I don't think so. Did they? Honestly, I haven't kept up. You know, it's just it's just people's hearts are broken because they can't get a damn console in the first place. I know Xbox had their 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 slim version, and now they're gonna make the new model, which I'm sure they're gonna make it more affordable so they can make more. You know, because we still have the chip shortage, but this time this is a big thing. They're gonna come with an external drive, and you're like, hey yo, is they trying to rip us off? And it's like, nah. It's a win, win, win. For once, everybody wins. You get a cheaper console, assuming they'll give you a cheaper console, but it's gonna cost their company less, which means they'll be more available, more availability. And they, and if you're a person and you're like, dude, I have physical copies. I have to have a physical copy console. Guess what? In the long run, if you can't afford it, you can still buy the digital one. And then, when you save up your pennies, you can go buy the external drive. Now, the first thing I thought was like, hey, this reminds me of back in the Xbox 360 days when we used to have the DVD HD versus Blu-ray days. Remember? Obviously, Blu-ray one, but in the time, Xbox is like, bro, we ain't gonna get an HD DVD drive. If that shit fails, we're fucked. And they wouldn't have to keep making CDs for that console. So they gave you an external drive to make the HD DVD drive. Yes, if you want it, HD DVD drive, you had to pay an extra like $2.99. I don't remember how much, but it was ridiculous to just play HD DVDs when you're like, I might as well get the PS5. I get the Blu-ray drive and I get the console at the same time. Well, we're having it again, but this time it's a little different because we kind of do low key need it because of the pandemic and stuff. Now, now we got a pandemic and now we're like, bro, we, we need to scrape our money. So if you can save a couple bucks and I have to buy the dry version and you can buy it later on, that is a deal. That is good. Also, I don't even think about this. This also means GameStop won't go out of business. First off, everybody was like, man, GameStop's gonna go out of business because ain't buy, nobody buying no more physical copies. It's gonna be all digital. Hey, this is good for GameStop. Shit. All right, so that's good. <laughs> 
Also as a bonus, if you if you mess up your damn drive, hey, guess what? You go buy another one. I mean, I don't know about having problems with drives, but I mean, let's see. You know, the 360 did have. Man, now that I'm, I keep talking shit about 360. Man, 360 had a lot of bugs, huh? They used to get the red ring of death that will blow up. You had to buy an external drive if you wanted the HDVD drive. Hello? ¿Qué ole? Oh my God, ¿no vas a regresar hasta la semana? Ah, Dios mío, grandma put. Mira, yo voy un día en Los Ángeles a ver un Paris y tú quieres ir Paris toda la semana. Oh my God. Órale pues, grandma, eh, no te emborraches muy feo, eh. Okay, pues, échate la corona, bye. That's my grandma. Apparently she's leaving us for the week to go party. Damn. Well, yo, grandma, go out more than you do. You know, that's that's the life we live in now. Damn it. Usually it's the youngins coming out. Well, I'm not young. I'm old as hell. But, damn. I was talking smack about Xbox. Yeah, they had the Red Ring of Death. They had to you had to buy an external drive if you wanted the HD, you know, feature, whatever, HD DVD drives, which failed horribly. And on top of that, on at the Wi-Fi feature, guess what? You had to buy the Wi-Fi antenna by itself too. And <laughs> now that I think about it, man, that shit was horrible, man. How the, the failure rate was like over 50%. Alright, I'm going over a tangent, whatever. But yeah, Xbox, they're doing the external drive too. So that's cool. I don't know if they're gonna work for the slim of the version. I think they probably are. But yeah, the PS5 model. And also if you're worried that you're a person, you know what? I want the aesthetics of my PlayStation not looking like shit. Don't worry. They they said that this console will fit the external drive and it's gonna look visually the pleasing. In other words, it's gonna look like it's part of it. So something tells me that drive is probably gonna be really skinny. We're in more modern times. We're gonna have that beefy ass external drive like the Xbox 360 days, where you had this big beefy ass shit. It had, it, looked like it had its own power supply. It was as big as the 360 power brick. Nah, it's probably gonna be this slim ass little USB thing that doesn't use a lot of power. Which also means the load times are probably gonna suck though. <laughs> There's like one thing about having digital. If it's in your drive, it's so much faster, especially not having solid state drives inside SSDs. So that's good. So after two freaking years, <laughs> We're gonna hit 2023, probably hitting three years. Maybe. We're gonna finally be able to buy an up-to-date modern console for the average person that can just go to a goddamn Best Buy, a Target, you know, and just fucking buy one, man. Thank God for Switches. That's like the only thing you can buy. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think? Are you guys cool with having a console within a drive, within, you know, a, a, a two stack layer console? Or are you like, nah, I still want everything in one piece. This is bullshit. Or is there something I missed? Let me know. Like, subscribe, talk some shit. Tell me in the comment section. Let me know. And that is out. <laughs> oh, oh man, I gotta fill up this guy. He's running out of air. Alrighty, peace. Thank you.